Today, we're talking all about shawls. I wanna show you all five shawls that I've ever knit in hopes that maybe you find a new one to knit or just a little bit of inspiration. I love shawl knitting because you don't have to worry about size or gauge, and you can just really sink your teeth into it while you're watching TV or having a conversation and end up with something really beautiful at the end. Typically, I gravitate towards asymmetrical triangle shawls that have really simple patterns with a lot of texture, and you'll see that I love brioche in a shawl. Of the five shawls, that I've knit, three of them have brioche sections, but they're all really simple brioche. So I think any one of these shawls from fingering weight, DK weight to worsted weight will be perfect for new shawl knitters and for anybody who's looking for something really simple and really fun. So first up, let's talk about the first shawl I've ever knit, which is my Night Shift Shawl by Andrea Mowry. I knit this shawl using three skeins of Malabrigo Rios and three skeins of Knitting Fever's Painted Sky. I did this for budget reasons. The pattern calls for six skeins of Spin Cycles Dyed in the Wool, which was a little bit more than I wanted to spend. And using those three Malabrigo Rios skeins and three skeins of Painted Sky, which is a color shifting yarn with long changes of color that blend into each other very similar to Dyed in the Wool, I was able to save, I think, a lot of money and I still ended up with a beautiful, very cozy, very thick, squishy, and warm shawl. This shawl knits up really quickly because it is a worsted weight shawl, and it uses a really simple slip stitch technique to achieve the kind of blips of color within each section, which is a really, really clever technique to give a very graphic and gorgeous and unique look to your shawl without being really difficult. I love this shawl, and I can understand why it's as popular as it is, and I absolutely can see myself knitting another one in the future. It's one of my favorites. So the second shawl that I ever knit is the Satellite Shawl by Andrea Mowry. It's a very generously sized fingering weight shawl that uses basic garter stitch, basic brioche, and some short row wedges to achieve this really graphic and complex look to the fabric that wasn't really difficult to pull off. It was only my second brioche project and I didn't have any trouble with the brioche sections and I had a lot of fun knitting it because all the garter stitch was super like mindless and I could really just kind of sink into it, but it didn't last too long before I did something that was really a little more interesting. I also really loved working with some more luxurious yarns for this project. I chose some budget yarn for my main color, so I held a strand of Holskarn Noble, which has 5% cashmere content, with a strand of Holskarn Titicaca, which is 100% alpaca. And then for the Surrey alpaca, you need three colors. In order to kind of keep costs down, I went with a skein of Drops Brush Silk Alpaca in the color gray for one of my colors, so that was about $5. And then I got two skeins of Odang, which is a Surrey alpaca from The Farmer's Daughter, in the colors Gary Cooper and Ludlow's Army for my other two colors. So this mix of budget and less budget friendly yarns helped keep my overall project costs down, but the finished object still looks really beautiful and felt super luxurious to knit with, and it feels super luxurious and very warm to wear. I can definitely recommend this pattern. I loved knitting it and I love wearing it. So the third shawl I ever knit is the Fade Into You shawl by Matt Akers. It's a DK weight shawl that starts at the largest end. So typically with shawls, you'll see that they start with a few stitches and then you increase until you end up with your final stitch count and then you bind off. This started with the largest stitch count and then in order to create the asymmetrical triangle shape, you decrease all the way down. So whenever you first cast on and you have all that cast on energy, you're at the longest rows. And as you kind of have project fatigue, each row is shorter and shorter after that which was super nice. The shawl is garter stitch and it's DK weight, so it's squishy and works up pretty quickly. And then it has these bands of brioche to break up the garter stitch. And these all use a mini skein of fingering weight yarn held double. So it's a really great way to use up those skeins that you have from sock sets that you didn't use or fingering weight mini skeins that you bought or advent skeins. And you end up with something that is super gorgeous and really allows you to play with some color. I really love knitting the shawl because it worked up really quickly and it's maybe not as big as some of my other shawls, but it still keeps me super warm and it's super cozy in the winter. After my Fade Into You by Matt Akers, I went back to Andrea Mowry for The Range, which is my third shawl. This was one of my favorites to knit because there are so many gorgeous textures in this fabric. It uses stockinette stitch, there's some slip stitch patterns, there's knit pearl stitch patterns and brioche sections, and all these sections blend the different colors of wool together, so you end up with this really gorgeous fabric that never got boring to knit because you're always switching it up. I knew I wanted to knit this because 
I loved the natural colors of wool that Andrea Mowry used in her sample. And I received these skeins of Knit Picks Simply Wool as a gift from Knit Picks. And they're in these really gorgeous natural colors. And I just knew as soon as I saw them that they would work really well as a rain shawl. And I'm not disappointed at all. This is one of my favorites, not only because of the really gorgeous texture in the fabric, but it was just so fun to knit and it's really, really cozy to wear. It also worked up really quickly. This is one of my favorites and I think you should definitely check it out. The final shawl that I have to show you is the Field by Maxim Sear, which is a DK weight shawl in all garter stitch that knits up fairly quickly and is really simple to pull off. This shawl was so fun to knit because it starts with a small number of stitches on one end, increases to the midpoint, and then decreases out to the other end. So you end up with this really elongated but shallow triangle shape that's super simple to wear. And because you're only working with two different colors of yarn, where on one half, one color is your main color and the other color is your contrast color, but on the other half, that contrast color becomes the main color and the other side's main color is the contrast color, if that makes any sense, you end up with some really fun color play that's super simple to pull off. I just thought that this was a really fun project to knit and the finished object is really, really cozy and warm and huge and easy to kind of style and wear out in the winter. So I really love it and I think you will love it too. And that brings us to the end of the list of shawls that I've knit. I would love to hear about all the shawl patterns that you've knit that you loved or ones that you want to knit in the future. So drop a comment down below and tell us all about those patterns. But if you were inspired by this video at all, I would love if you hit the like button down below and hit the little subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos in the future. Until next time, I hope you enjoy your knitting and I will see you in the next one.